Welcome to another episode of Poke Openings, as you can see in front of us. Today we have the uh, one-year-old Pikachu uh, EX Red and Blue collection. Oh, well, it's about one years old, or roundabout, because as you can see there, it is uh, celebrating the 20th anniversary of Pokemon, which was indeed last year. As you can see at the back as well, it is Pikachu themed. That is the... Uh, it's actually so large that I can't really get a very good angle, but if you do want to read that, have a look there. These are the sides. I'm just doing this so that we can get straight into it. And also, that really cool promo, which is literally the only reason I bought this box. Because whilst I like Pikachu, um, you know, he's kind of on everything. So, whenever there's a special Pikachu box out, unless it's those uh, really cute ones where Pikachu dresses in the various team kind of uniforms and stuff, there's nothing that's really ever taken my fancy. Apart from this, because, as we'll see in a minute, the promo card is actually really, really nice. Now, I'll leave that in the plastic, because there's an oversized one that we can see in more detail. That is my tablet going off with a notification. Thank you, tablet. Uh, so, as I said, we'll have a look there in a second. They also comes with four packs. Uh, one of each design for the Pokemon Generations set. So, I've had a look. I actually got quite a lot of cards to get in this set, so I'm hoping to maybe pull an EX or something. Code card is there, which I shall put to one side. And let's gently pull out... Okay, part of the plastic's already snapped. Let's gently pull out this Pikachu card and have a look. Is this not a really cool Pikachu? Actually, I think this is one of the best Pikachu cards I've seen. Not necessarily because he looks angry and stuff, but more than just the art style looks so crisp and everything. I don't know, I... You know, I haven't seen all the uh, full art EXs from every set, so there could be an even better one. I also like the fact that Electabuzz is just in the corner there. It's just a really cool... Um, oh, and a Jolteon uh, to the side there. It's just a really cool piece of uh, artwork, really, which is, as I mentioned, the only reason I bought this. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and start opening some packs. Let's keep Pikachu till last. Let's start with... Let's go in Pokedex order, shall we? I think this is correct. It's Venusaur. Yeah. Okay. Now, I can't remember the order of these packs. So, we're just going to open one up in a uh, in the average way without putting any cards to the back. Because after, you know, opening some Sun and Moon cards, I've really forgot the order. No. Oh, anyway, let's begin with a Dark Energy. A Krabby. Is that a better angle? That's better. A Caterpie. A Meowth. Ooh, okay, so we've got a round. That's actually really cool, a reverse uh, metal energy. So the rare is... Ooh, hello. Ah, right, yes, this is the Radiant Collection, Shiny Collection, I can't remember. But there's that other smaller set uh, that you get two cards of in each pack I think and this of course is Diancie which I believe I already have and the rare is a Snorlax so how many cards do we have left we have Shroomish yay a friend for my uh, unofficial channel mascot we have a red card and we have a Cloyster and I think that's it okay so that's three to the front I was correct but I wanted to doubly make sure uh, I am particularly looking for EX cards, because that's the one uh, part of the collection that I don't have many of, I think, for Generations. Apart from, of course, the ones that come in the special set. I think I have two full art uh, Mega Gardevoirs or something. The This one. Which is great and all, um, but I don't know, I just kind of felt like, well, if, I, if I'm going to pull two really cool cards... I'd prefer to get, you know, even an EX. I don't necessarily love, but something to boost out the collection. Anyway, let's begin with a female Wobbuffet. Uh, fun fact, did you know that a female Wobbuffet has lipstick? Wow, see, it, it's worth it's worth subscribing to this channel. That's my that's my early call out now. So you guys can't, can't skip before we get to the end where I shill my channel and subscription. Anyway, Shauna, Evo Soda. We have a cloister to go with that, uh, Shelda, sorry, to go with that cloister we pulled just now. Clefairy, Geodude, ooh, water energy, 
we have a reverse uh, oh uh, metapod sorry about that I kind of lost focus there and I'm viewing it through the camera lens our rare is the dark uh, you oh my god evil towel that's not dark right obviously another card I believe I have although I could be wrong actually uh, actually, that doesn't look very familiar. I don't think I do have that email at all. And the rare. Ooh, hello! Yes! Okay, then. This is definitely an EX I do not have, because that art is fantastic. That's a really cool-looking Vaporeon there. And, of course, the rainbow slash uh, splash thing is pretty cool as well. That is a... Okay, that's a pretty, pretty good pull there. I'm, generally speaking, I'm you know happy to say that this box was a success but we still have two packs left so that could mean potentially we could pull another two axes but let's face it we're not going to uh right well I'll just decimate these packs because i've opened several before and even after doing that it still doesn't want to open right let's get into pack four by putting three to the front and let's begin with another Shroomish, a Clefable, a Golbat, uh, we have Paris, that's a very, it's been a while since I saw that artwork, uh, Caterpie, we have a Clefairy, ooh, Ponyta, yay, something slightly different. Our reverse is a Taurus from, uh, I feel like it's Fossil Set or Jungle Set, or maybe it's Base Set actually, but it's a reprint of that. Very nice little card. Our... Ah! <laughs> okay, so I've got three of these now. Uh, this... So this is the card that I mentioned I already had two of. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a really nice card. I'm not I'm not angry at Paul. Essentially, I could actually play this in an unlimited deck now. But, yeah. Well, there we are. That is the Mega Gardevoir Full Art card. Can we pull something as equally cool as the rare? Whoa! Okay, uh, I guess we kind of can. Charizard EX. I genuinely wasn't expecting two EXs in one box. That is, that's pretty darn cool. It is the 3D art that I'm not quite as fond of. But, you know, still, it is an EX and I believe an EX I do not have in my Generations collection. Well, I, I'm really hoping that the Pikachu pack now isn't a massive letdown. But let's face it, it probably will be, because unless it's some kind of full RTX or a secret rare, it's not going to really uh, finish off on a high, as it were. But still, uh, if I, I'll just tear the pack apart in my excitement to find out what our final pack of 10 cards will hold. We begin with a Flabebe. A Metapod non-reverse hollow. Ooh, what is that? That's a revitalizer. Cool. Yay, Diglett! Possibly shiny Diglett. I'm still not really sure, but he is yellow in that, so... We have a Paris. Hey, a Pikachu! There we are, fitting for the box that I bought. We have a Fairy Energy. The reverse is a Magma, uh, kind of doing his Falcon Punch. The uh, Shining Whatever Special Collection thing is a Slurpuff. Which is lovely. I I like Slurpuff, kind of. I guess I've never really used Fairy any uh, Fairy Pokemon in any decks or in the game. They just their designs are you know they're kind of cute. But and our last card of this video is a Rapidash. Well, um, I will say at the very least it is not the Snorlax that we ended the first pack with. As I believe I've pulled that about like 90,000 times. And I don't actually think I have this Rapidash card, so that's something. But, to recap, we did manage to pull two EXs in one box. And a fire and a water at that. That is, in my opinion, uh, a sign that the box that I bought was indeed worth it. Because I did actually pay full price for this, which... I don't usually like to do with uh, Pokemon collection boxes or whatever, but for this one, it didn't seem to be going down in price. And talking about uh, red and blue collections, next video is going to be another red and blue collection, but here's a hint, it's not going to be Blastoise and it's not going to be Pikachu. Anyway, as always, if you enjoyed the video, maybe consider subscribing to my channel or just liking the video or something, or leave a comment 
you know if you've got something to add. And until next time, goodbye.